Hi, Justin Bennett, Senior Sales Rep with Minerva Beauty here today to show you how we put together a basic styling chair. This is also going to help with the replacement of parts such as your hydraulic and base along with your footrest. We're going to lay out our basic parts, show you what those look like and we'll get started. First, what I would like to do is put together the big, bigger parts such as our hydraulic and our base. I will normally pull over this uh, hydraulic and attach the base by sliding it onto the top right here. This is one bolt and washer inserted right into the top right here. I usually use my thumb just to tighten it down all the way and then I will use a Allen key wrench which is provided in the box. The larger one will fit this base and we'll just continue to tighten this down until it is nice and sturdy. After this, we're gonna insert the foot pump. The foot pump, the only way this works, it has to allow you to actually pump up the chair. It has to be inserted around the hydraulic. This has to go around the outside of the hydraulic on both sides and this will be inserted into both holes directly. And there are two screws, set screws on both sides that we're gonna tighten down. And they will set right into a groove that is dug straight into the foot rest itself. Very easy, very basic. Okay, after the whole base is put together, we want to turn the chair top over where I said that all of the bolts will be inserted for you. So we want to back all these out. They should be loose enough for you to loosen them just with your fingers. Remove each one, keeping the washers together. If for some reason they fall off your screw, um, the flat screw will remain at the bottom. So first we insert what is called the lock washer. It does have a cut right in it and it's offset just a little bit. This will help the uh, screw not to back out. So we want to keep that together just like that. We'll take every single one of them out. All of these screws are the exact same size. And what we want to do first is actually just attach what is called the seat bracket. The seat bracket will come just as such and will have a bolt with a washer slid into the top hole of it. This will actually be used to, act, to insert on top of the hydraulic. We're going to take this plate, slide it over. There's a pin on the top of the hydraulic and that's what you want to use the groove that comes straight down from the top of this plate and slide it straight over straddling that, that pin. Your bolt will attach straight in the top side of it. We'll tighten that down. This is the only tool that is not provided. It will be a 14 millimeter wrench socket or you could use an adjustable wrench or a pair of pliers. This doesn't need to be extremely tight. It will keep this chair from moving and coming off. If you find this bracket moving, you can always lock your chair by lifting up on the foot pump and this will help you tighten down your bolt. So we'll get that good and tight. It's always a little easier to work on this if you have the hydraulic pumped up a little bit. But once again, I'll always put it in the lock position as I want to keep it here. On this plate, there's a front. It is embossed here with the front and it also is a little bit higher than the back end. This is to help prevent a client from feeling like they're sliding out of the front of the chair. So we want to keep this towards the front of the chair. We'll take the chair top set it on top of the hydraulic and the bracket and we'll line it up with the holes. You can once again take your hand and insert each screw into the hole.
As I now have the uh, chair top attached to the bracket that is attached to the hydraulic, I'm going to continue to tighten it down with the other Allen key that is provided. It is a smaller wrench, a smaller key than the one used for the base. So we have the larger one for the base, the smaller one for the bolts that attach the chair top to the bracket. Once I tighten these down, I actually do a cross pattern just to make sure that it's all sitting flush. So I'll go straight across, diagonal from one to the other. Just make sure it's nice and tight. The lock washer should provide you with assistance for not letting the bolt back out over time. The last two holes inserted here for your foot rest. It's the exact same process of just sliding this over the top tightening down the bolt with your fingers. Once again, we're going to go ahead, use the smaller Allen key and finish tightening down the bolts. After that is complete, you have a fully functional styling chair ready to go for operation and service. As you can see, it's very simple. We appreciate you for watching. Have a great day.